In this discussion, you can see how to use widgets plus supported attributes. In case you missed previous video related how to create many to many field in brief, please check link is given in description. Now we are going to editor. In previous discussion, we already created one many to many field. You can see here hobby underscore list as a many to many. Now we are creating one widget many to many. many to many underscore tags while we are using this attribute and going to front end side and refreshing the page you can see that uh, the layout of the many to many field is changed like here you can search also you can create and uh, having a one more edit option so like this way you can also use this widget many to many underscore tags one more layout you can also use for normal many to many field uh, it will display as a checkbox and uh, from checkbox you can also select multiple multiple options so first of all we will discard this one and going to editor here we have to use remove this tags and check boxes we start the service plus upgrade the module going to front end side and refreshing the page once refresh will complete you can see the checkbox visible we already selected two writing and speaking So like this attribute, uh, like this layout also you can use. Right now we are just focusing only normal one. Now we are going to attribute side, going to PyCharm and uh, using model here. So first of all we already used this string as a label name for base. You can see here this is our label name. You can also change hobby list after we have to upgrade the module because this one we need to upgrade the module is mandatory refreshing the page you can see the label name changed from hobbies to hobby list now we are also adding one more attribute is read only this attribute supports boolean data type by default it's a false and uh, we are just using as a true one if we are applying this attribute like from front end side like user can't edit no need to upgrade the module only restart the service we already changed in python and going to browser and refresh the page while i'm clicking to edit you can see here i can't edit anymore Again going to PyCharm and uh, replace with required. Like required also supports boolean data type true and false. By default it's false and uh, we are just adding as a true. Restart the service only and going to browser and refresh the patch. If I am going to uncheck. Oops. If I am going to uncheck. And trying to save like Odo will allow me to save without this required fail we already added but here one more thing is this required attribute is no more working for many to many field including one to many field so here we having one option like we need to override default method of Odo and based on that we will raise one pop-up message if like a hobby underscore list no uh, there is no any selected records found uh, don't worry about this method we will cover this in our later videos and after write values then after if self 
dot or we dot list not available then we need to rise user exception restart the service no need to upgrade the module and refresh the page now you can see while i'm trying to save you can see here like this pop-up message appear from Odoo side now whenever we are just trying to click to save button it won't be save because it is mandatory you can see here like this way it is working as a required one now going to python side now we are going to xml side and here we are just overriding the same attributes here we will override the label name only hobby and going to terminal and upgrade the module once the refresh will complete you can see here only visible hobby so like this way you can also override python's attribute to xml side <coughs> so now we are using one more attribute is read only equal to true or false by default it's a false but here in xml side we have to mention 0 or 1 1 means true and 0 means false so by default it's a 0 it means false and now we are overriding using 1 as a true upgrading the module and uh, refreshing the page but before we can see like uh, i can before refreshing i can still edit but let me refresh the page you can see now i can't edit anymore it's a read only so like this way you can also use one more thing is invisible equal to one or zero as you no like zero means false and one is true so by default invisible parameter having the zero attribute while using this one like this hobby underscore list field will not more visible in form view side again going to terminal and upgrade the module refresh the page you can see here there is no more that field is visible again going to here and using no label while using this no label uh, as you can see here we already added one label so in form view side it won't be visible the label name only visible data like checkbox list of checkbox will visible going to front end side and refreshing the page You just you can just focus here so that label name is now invisible one more attribute is help which will help us use as a tooltip let's select at least one hobby for this to that so once you will hover to the uh, to that label your mouse cursor will having some uh, pop-up message like it will display as a message refresh the page and the label will be visible now as a hobby now once i will try to move this mouse cursor to hobby label you can see that message will be up Please select at least one hobby for this tutorial.
I hope you understood basic many to many widgets plus supported attribute. In case you having any doubt, please comment below and see you in next video.